Hi, I'm Tomo Palmares and I'll be teaching you the computation of cost of goods sold in connection sa Donut Made In. Basically, para siya magiging cooking show. Pero, I want to challenge myself na makonect ang cooking sa cost accounting. So, let's start. Uh, first is raw materials beginning. Ito yung mga materials na natira sa last inventory mo. For donut making, we already have sugar, egg, salt, and dry yeast. Uh, next is raw materials purchase. Ito yung mga materials na kailangan mo, pero wala ka or kulang. Kaya kailangan pabilihin sa labas. So, I asked my mother to buy flour. So, i-demonstrate namin yung gagawin sa donut making. 50 grams of sugar and 5 grams of dry yeast. Let's continue the formula of cogs. The third is raw materials available for use. Ito yung mga lahat ng ingredients na pwede natin magkamitin. Next is raw materials ending. In accounting, ito yung mga mater raw materials na natira, natira for the year ended. But sa setting natin ngayon, ito yung mga raw materials na matitira sa atin. To raw materials ending, all-purpose flour na nasa lalagyan, and sugar na nasa Tupperware pa. So, if we solve drop, raw materials available for use minus raw materials ending. Tools equals to direct materials use. Direct labor. Ito yung sweldo ng mga factory workers. For this setting, sweldo ni nanay kasi siya yung tumutulong sa akin. Factory overhead. Ito yung mga gastusin na indirect sa paggawa ng donut. Tulad na lamang ng indirect labor. Siyempre, yung videographer natin. Then, indirect materials. Ito yung oil para maluto siya. Ginagamit natin siya pero hindi siya nakikita sa final product. Then, kuryente for utilities manufacturing cost. Inad natin lahat ng gastusin para mabuo yung product. Fun fact, product cost and manufacturing cost ay isa lang. Next step dito is ilalagay na natin yung flour. Haluin lang yan ni nanay hanggang sa maging dough na siya. Ang number 9 is work in process beginning. These are partially finished goods sa start ng inventory. So, bago pa tayo mag-video, gumawa na kami ng isang batch na lulutuin. Ito yun. Ito yung magiging kalabasan nung ginagawa ni nanay. So, so next step is cost of goods put into process. Uh, manufacturing cost plus working process beginning is equal to cost of goods put into process. So, sa part na ito, if ipapray natin yung dough na nahulman na natin. Sorry if pangit siya. So, sa part na to, ipapray na natin siya. So, next is work in process ending. Ito yung product na hindi pa fully finished. So, based na ginawa natin ngayon, ito yung uh, dough na binigyan natin ng rest. Ito yun. So, next doon is cost of goods manufactured. According to Google, ito yung na-incurred mo na expense throughout the work in process inventory to finish goods. So, sa finish goods beginning, ito yung finish goods na pwede natin maibenta. Ito yun. Since naka-quarantine tayo, hindi tayo pwede magbenta sa labas. Kaya, tatapusin ko na lang yung buong formula ng COGS. So, let's begin. Raw materials beginning plus raw materials purchase equals to raw materials available for use. Minus raw materials ending equals to direct materials use plus direct labor plus factory overhead equals to manufacturing cost. Plus work in process beginning equals to cost of goods put into process. Minus work in process ending equals to cost of goods manufactured plus finished goods equals to cost of goods available for sale minus finished goods ending equals to cost of goods sold so i hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching